Xiaomi University Malaysia will hold an exchange program with Xiaomi University in April 2018. Xiaomi University China will be hosting the Fort China Internet Plus College Student Innovation Entrepreneurship Competition in October 2018. XMUM will provide fund for students to take part in this competition. A student has set up a second-hand group in XMUM to help students buy and sell useless items. This is Okie Dokie Campus News, March 29, 2018. We have Krista Huang. Good morning. Today is Thursday. Recently, there have been fears of Xiamen University in Malaysia. Departments of Journalism in Xiamen University in Malaysia and Xiamen University will organize an exchange program for XMUM students at the main campus from April 8th to 15th. What are the thoughts of Malaysian students who have been to and who will go to? Let's take a look at the details. Hi, I'm at the Xiamen University Malaysia now. This April, there will be 20 journalism students from Xiamen University Malaysia flying to Xiamen University main campus to participate in the exchange program. Cai Xiaodan reports. The coordinator of journalism program assistant, Professor Dr. Wang, explained the reason he helped to set up the program and showed his future plan. My initial thought of these exchange programs is to allow our students to experience education systems in China, especially for our Malaysian students. Xiamen University in Mainland China have a lot of first so-called facilities for you guys to experience. So in the future, I still want to hold this kind of exchange programs for the future students. I want to make it like a yearly event. According to a student who attended the exchange program last year, the program was helpful and he realized some differences. So throughout the activities, I have learned more about the master courses. Um, for the senior talk, I was recharged as they shared the inspiring stories about themselves and the others. The first difference is the language. So although I am a local Chinese, I learned Mandarin since I was born, but it has a huge difference um, with the mainland Chinese. The second thing is, in my opinion, Chinese students are extremely hardworking, while in Malaysia, it depends. Victoria is a sophomore that is going to participate in the exchange program this year, and she showed what she expected. Personally, I think it is a very good opportunity because even before I started university, I've always wanted to study abroad or even just um, attending a exchange program so that um, I can really immerse myself in a different culture somewhere um, around the world. I would like to learn something that um, it is different from the courses that I am currently studying in Sami University Malaysia. Uh, besides that, I also want to gain some experience uh, studying in a different uh, university uh, with a different environment abroad. The exchange program will be wonderful. Let's look forward to interesting stories that they will bring back. Thanks, Xiaodan. The fourth China Internet Plus College Innovation and Entrepreneurship Competition is coming. Last year, we had a good result of Silver Award. What about this year? Today, we invite Dr. Wang Huicheng to introduce us for more details. This competition is about innovation and entrepreneurship. So the main purpose of this competition is to encourage students to present their innovative ideas and they also have to find a way to promote it and to make a profit. Let's hear how Dr. Wang Huichong said about this competition. Uh, this is the fourth uh, competition that is going to be held in China. Um, this time, uh, Xiamen University China will host the final competition. So it's very special for our Malaysia campus. So. Um, <clears throat> For Malaysia campus, we would like to participate through the international channel. The university already sent out the pre-notice to students so that they can get ready to prepare. There will be several uh, categories for this competition. Uh, they, this, it can be some uh, new uh, creative ideas, and so maybe you, 
you already have some kind of product, but not. Uh, but uh, the students has have not yet created a company for that yet. So this this is a, is a, uh, one kind of the uh, competition ideas they can present. The other is that some students actually all of are still students that have already created some companies. So they are also welcome to present their products uh, in this competition because uh, through this competition they can also um, try to attract some funding support. Dr. Wang said last year there was only one group participated in this competition because it was the first time our campus participated in it. Wu Dayong, a student from the digital media, is one of them. Let's hear what's his feeling about this competition and what's his suggestions to other students. Well, in general, I've learned, for example, uh, how to divide our jobs according to each member's specialties and uh, um, how to promote your own products in reality. I mean, it's not just a plan. Well, to start with, I would recommend them to find a proper project which catches the social pain point. And what's more, uh, once you start your project, be sure you insist it to the end. We are proud that although it was the first time our campus participated in this competition last year, the team actually won the silver prize. It's really competitive, Dr. Wang said. And Dr. Wang encouraged more students in our campus to participate in. I'm Ren Siyu, reporting from Okidoki Campus News. Thank you, Ren Siyu. In our daily life, we always have some things to spare, but we can't afford to throw it away. So what can we do? A student in Xiamen University, Malaysia, set up a second-hand group to help students solve these problems. After three months, how it is going on? Let's see. Have you ever confused about how to do with your useless item? Do you want to buy something cheap and valuable? If you are a student in Xiamen University, Malaysia, the second school will help you. Now, come with me and no more detail. The second hand crew was set up at the beginning of 2018 in SMUM. Until today, it has become a great exchange place. As one of the foundation, Zhang Xi said, The second hand group is only a medium for students to contact each other. Actually, the group members sell and buy the product offline. What is the major product in the second hand group? 40% of food, 40% uh, of makeup, uh, maybe 8% electronic product, and 2% uh, others. How many people in this group until now? Uh, over 500 members in the group now, and 50% of number is uh, 16 intake, and the rest is 17 intake. On the other hand, the major part is Chinese students. Uh, there are a few Malaysians inside. However, the professor Li Hoxiang gave us another idea. As I know, uh, s most of the university college or uh, in Malaysia, they have a second-hand group also, but uh, maybe it's in a different way, different ways that uh, selling the second-hand item. Uh, some uh, university students, they might use forum, such as Forum, Malaysia Forum, or their own uh, college uh, website group, or and also some Facebook, Facebook group also as well. This is Zhang Yao report from OK Doki Studio. Thank you for watching. That's all we have for this week. I'm Hong Yun. I hope you will have a good vacation from all of us good days. See you at the same time next week.